In this lesson, we're going to talk about reading and writing data to files using the base functions in the File.io subpalette. We will begin by writing data to text files and manipulating the structure. Let's start with a blank VI. Open the block diagram. Right-click on the block diagram to bring up the functions palette and navigate to the File.io subpalette. Find the VI called Write to Spreadsheet File and drag it to your block diagram. Find the delimiter input on the VI. By default, the delimiter on this VI is tab. We're going to change it to a comma by right-clicking on the terminal and creating a constant. Type a comma inside the string constant. Make sure your context help dialog is open. Now let's create some data to save. Create a for loop. Open the quick drop menu again and type random number. Press enter and drop the random number generator inside your for loop. Now create one more for loop and place your first loop inside the second loop. Wire the output of your random number generator to the 2D input of your write to spreadsheet file VI. Now set the number of times for your for loop to run by wiring a constant to the end terminals of your for loops. These values will determine the dimensions of your 2D array of data. Run the VI. Because we did not specify a path for our data, a dialog will appear asking us where we want to save it. Choose a path and enter a name for your file. Use the extension CSV for your file. CSV is short for Comma Separated Values. Many applications will automatically recognize this file extension. The Write to Spreadsheet File VI is what's known as a polymorphic VI. This means that the VI can accept data in many different formats automatically with no changes required by the programmer. We can demonstrate this ability by changing our data from a 2D array of doubles to a 2D array of strings. Open the Quick Drop menu and type Format into String. Wire this function to the output of the random number generator. Notice how the wire has changed from orange to pink. The data type is now string. In this lesson, we learned about file I.O. using the basic file I.O. VIs. We talked about the write to spreadsheet function and how to create a comma-separated value file that can be used by common applications such as Microsoft Excel.